Everyone was stunned when 70-year-old Catherine gave birth to a baby boy, but the real shock came when the boy's father took a closer look and noticed something very unusual about the baby. In her early 30s, Catherine gave birth to her beautiful daughter, Cynthia. For many years, Catherine had been deeply unhappy, stuck in a one-sided relationship. She spent years trying to win the man's heart, but despite knowing how much she cared for him, he would come and go from her life as he pleased, leaving her heartbroken each time. During one of his brief returns, Catherine discovered she was pregnant with his child. This revelation, however, opened her eyes to many things, most importantly, that she deserved better. She decided to end the situation ship once and for all. Determined to move forward, Catherine made a plan. She would pour all her love and energy into her unborn daughter. She vowed never to reveal the identity of her daughter's father and promised to protect her at all costs from any harm. Unfortunately, life had other bitter plans that would soon render these wishes vain and empty, not only for Catherine, but for her poor daughter as well and it all started after she had her child. Immediately after Catherine gave birth, the doctors discovered the girl had Mayer rokitansky kuster hauser MRKH, syndrome. This condition caused the vagina and uterus to be underdeveloped or absent. Unfortunately, Cynthia's case was quite extreme. She had no uterus, which meant she could never conceive. This news broke Catherine's heart. She worried so much that people began to tell her she was starting to look older than her age, so when would she finally be happy? She had thought her daughter would be the key to her happiness, but now she found herself in an even deeper mess. Catherine kept Cynthia's condition a secret for a long time. She planned to tell her daughter on her 18th birthday, believing Cynthia would be mature enough to handle it by then. Unfortunately, one night, when Cynthia was only 15, she returned home very late. Catherine, who had been worried sick, cried out loudly upon seeing her daughter at the door. You are the only one I have. Why do you keep doing this to me? You know I love you so much. First, I have to worry that you don't have a womb, and now I have to worry about your safety. If Catherine could, she would have erased that moment from her daughter's memory. From that day forward, the little girl Catherine knew became a shadow of herself. Cynthia began locking herself in her room and even broke up with her boyfriend. She didn't see any reason to be in a relationship since she couldn't have children. She thought no one would want to stay with her. Catherine felt immense guilt and believed she had brought misery to her daughter. Was there any hope left for Cynthia? And would the poor mother get the chance to redeem a mistake made out of love? Cynthia continued living a sorrowful life for a long time, but eventually, she learned the power of love and its ability to cross boundaries. In her mid-thirties, Cynthia met a man named Ryan. Despite her efforts to keep herself from falling for him, it was futile. Ryan didn't make it easy for her either. He was deeply and helplessly in love with her. He pursued her for months, despite being rejected repeatedly. He could sense that deep down, Cynthia longed for his love too. One night, a year after they met, he told her, if you push me away, I'm only going to come back to you harder and stronger. That night, Cynthia grew tired of fighting her feelings. She didn't even know what came over her and ended up kissing him passionately. I want you, she finally confessed. From that moment on, neither of them let go of each other. Even when Cynthia told Ryan about her health condition, he said, I love you. We will always be together no matter what. Years later, Ryan proposed to Cynthia. Afterward, they got married and decided to have a child through surrogacy. During this time, someone special showed up at their doorstep. It was Catherine, now 70 years old. She had come to give her daughter the one thing that could make both of them happy. With joyful tears in her eyes, the elderly woman told Cynthia and her husband, give me the honor of carrying your child. When Cynthia heard this, she ran into her mother's arms, weeping loudly and happily. Catherine joined her. The truth was, Ever since the incident when Cynthia was 15, there had been a gap between them. But this new development brought them closer than ever before. It was what they both needed to heal their pain, fears, and regrets. When all the excitement wore off, one big question remained. Would Catherine be fit to carry the child? A trip to the hospital soon revealed something extremely shocking. 
Once at the hospital, doctors performed all the necessary tests. The result left the family stunned. The doctor said, the result is incredible. You see, even though Catherine was 70, her reproductive organs were like those of a 25-year-old. The doctor confirmed she was fit to have the baby. But if this was true, why did things take a turn for the worse after the baby's birth? Why did the child's birth leave his family shivering and the doctors bewildered? When the doctor said I was fit, I looked into my daughter's eyes, and I had never seen the radiance I saw in them that day. She was happy. And as for me, the happiness I had been searching for over the years was right there in her eyes. It was fulfilling. Shortly after this visit to the hospital, all the necessary steps were taken, and Catherine became pregnant. During the pregnancy, the family took prenatal care very seriously. They wanted nothing to go wrong. However, life had other plans for this family. When the time came, Catherine went into labor and was rushed to the hospital. However, natural labor was taking too long, so the elderly grandmother was rushed into surgery for a C-section. About 15 minutes after they entered the operating room, Catherine gave birth to her grandson, who weighed 7 pounds 7 ounces. After cradling the baby for a few minutes, Catherine carefully placed him in Cynthia's hands. Here is your beloved son, the elderly woman said as a joyful tear rolled down her cheek. When my mother placed him in my hands, I knew he was mine. It didn't matter that I hadn't carried him. I bonded with him instantly. I loved him so deeply that it almost hurt, Cynthia said. Cynthia then gave the baby to Ryan for their first father-son moment. Ryan carefully pulled back the blanket the baby was wrapped in, revealing the boy's head. Suddenly, Ryan noticed something strange. His son had an unusual hair color. He quickly called the attention of everyone in the room. Cynthia, the doctor, and the nurses were shocked to discover that the baby's hair was completely white. They had never seen anything like this before. Was the boy sick? The medical staff quickly rushed the baby away for observation and tests, leaving the family anxious. The doctors were equally puzzled and immediately performed a series of tests. The family waited nervously, hoping their little boy was healthy. What the results revealed, however, was nothing short of incredible. A few days later, they returned to the hospital, where the doctor revealed some astonishing findings. The tests showed that the child had three sets of genetic information, one from his mother, one from his father, and remarkably, one from his grandmother, Catherine, who had carried him during pregnancy. This explained his unique hair color, a blend of his surrogate grandmother's and his parents' hair. What an extraordinary and beautiful outcome. The family returned home in high spirits, filled with joy. Cynthia and Ryan are dedicated to raising their son to become a man of integrity, and they love him dearly. As for Catherine, she has finally found happiness and is ready to carry her daughter's child again, should the need ever arise. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video. Take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.